Hi everybody, my name is Katie Saban, C15 artist, here with Tim Birch on bass. Alright, thanks Tim. Uh, we are going to walk you through getting uh, your flash files set up for uh, scale form. Uh, a little bit of background, UDK uses scale form which allows you to uh, basically create your HUD, um, menus and such in flash and let uh, Unreal Script talk with Action Script and kind of ease your workflow, getting, letting you get a lot of stuff done in Flash and then just bring it in, use some Kismet and get things working in Unreal. So I'm going to walk you through the basic setup of getting the Scaleform launcher set up in Flash, uh, getting it installed, setting up the click, um, the click properties. And then we'll we'll talk about a few other things with the actual files that you'll be using and the, the file structure that they'll need to be in. So uh, a little bit of background. Um, this tutorial does assume that you have the latest version of UDK, which is currently the January 2011, and a basic knowledge of Flash, uh, be able to get your way around it. Um, and uh, well, I guess that's it. So, moving along, um, if you don't have Flash already, you can go to Adobe's site, adobe.com downloads, and you can try out stuff. Um, ooh, there's so many things to try, but take a peek at Flash. Um, it's a very powerful program, and that's why a lot of companies are starting to use it. It's not just for the web anymore. So, you can download that, do a 30-day trial if you want to play around with it, and if you decide to buy, then it's a good thing. Uh, <coughs> so. We've got Flash up and running. The first thing we're going to do is get the Scale Forum Launcher up and uh, installed into Flash. So what you're going to want to do, you need to go to Windows, or I'm sorry, you need to go to Help, and we're going to Manage Extensions. Scale Forum's an extension, so we'll have to go via this way. It'll bring up the Extension Manager, and that goes for basically all Adobe products. You can see we already have it installed here, but we'll go ahead and, and go through the process. Click the install button here, and then you're going to navigate to computer, to your C drive, your hard drive, to UDK. Uh, if you're not running <coughs> the current version, you're going to want to go to your current version of UDK. So for example, we'll go to 2011, we will go to binaries, GFX. And then here we've got our scale form click MPX. So we'll go ahead and click on that. We will open it. Accept. And we're going to replace it because this is the latest version. Now you see how it says it wants you to close it down and then restart Flash. That's what you're going to have to do regardless. Um, when you install scale form for the first time. So <coughs> we've got our, our latest one in. We're going to go ahead and shut down Flash. And we're not going to save any changes to our current scene here. And then we'll also close down the extension manager. The extension manager just basically lets you get um, extensions and install them. So go ahead and we'll get Flash up and running again. And we're just going to go ahead and open the file that we had open last time. So the next thing that we're going to end up doing, now that we have um, scale form installed, what we need to do is actually set it up to reference the files, um, the actual executables that it's going to be using. And those are also installed in the UDK uh, file structure as well. So when Flash gets up and running, we'll go ahead and do that. Last thing after that for setting up Flash will be setting up the click properties. And then we'll go into the, uh, the images and, and actual files themselves and setting those up. <coughs> Alright, so we have Flash back up and running. We have our, uh, if you want to take a peek, you can see that 
our scale form is still installed or our latest one is, is installed. Now you're going to wonder, well, where are we going to actually access this? Uh, once scale form is installed, you're going to want to go to Window. And it's located under Other Panels. So make sure you go to Other Panels. You'll see here we've got Scale Form Launcher. And go ahead and click that. Now we've docked it over by the library. Um, the first time you launch it, it, it will be blank and you'll actually have a, uh, a prompt that kind of comes up. Uh, it'll just be a free, free floating window like such. Next thing you're going to want to do is click on the plus button because this is where we're going to add our actual the extensions I talked about previously. It'll, it'll have a, a little window like this. So we've already got a couple installed and I'll just show you where you can find those. Click on plus and again we're going to navigate to our, our hard drive. Going to UDK, uh, again 2011 or whichever version you're running. <coughs> go to binaries, GFX, and then you'll see here we've got two FX media players. Uh, you can down, you can install both if you want. Each one would have to be done separately, um, or you can do uh, one or the other. Uh, previously if I've, I installed both, and the only difference between these two is that this, the no debug, basically ignores the, the startup uh, code so it kind of gets rid of that stuff that would show up every time. Uh, so it's just a matter of preference. Uh, we would go ahead and install the FX Media Player. I've already have it installed, so I'll just we would select it, click Open. Um, under the profile name, that's where you're going to want to actually type in the name. That's how you'll end up selecting it later. So you would type FX Media Player, etc. This will stay the same. Uh, you would click OK. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel because we already have it set up. And in the profile name, this is where you would you would find what you typed in. So you would either have the FX Media Player or you'd have the Player No Debug. And if you'd like, uh, instead of going to the Window Open Panels, um, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of, of HUD work and menu work, you may just want to dock it over here. Uh, just click and drag, see the highlights, and it'll dock itself up there. So it's always available to you real quick and uh, this will allow you to test your uh, pings and such to make sure that they're all going to be compatible with scale form. And we'll get to that a little later on in the uh, tutorial here. So we've got scale form up. We have it installed and set up so it's ready to use. We've got our FX Media Player uh, selected. And again if you needed to, if you installed this one first, and you want to install the other one as well, go ahead and click plus and you just go through the same process again. Clicking plus to navigate to um, the UDK site or to the UDK file structure um, inside the binaries. Put whatever name you want, click OK, and then you've got your, your second one, which will show up in the drop down box, however you named it there. Alright, so uh, the next thing that we'll need to do and the final set up for the persistent changes that we're going to make in the flash here is going to be for um, the click class paths and that's another part of UDK and the scale form which kind of adds the, the click uh, ability to buttons it kind of is like a preset thing for buttons so it makes things a little bit easier for you uh, the first thing we'll need to go to edit and we'll go to Preferences. And you'll notice you have a whole slew of preferences here. What we want to do is we, since uh, scale form and such uses ActionScript, that's what we're going to want to modify. And UDK currently can only read ActionScript 2.0. So anything dealing with 3, uh, we're basically going to ignore that. We'll go ahead and click on the ActionScript 2.0 settings. And here we already have it set up. But uh, if this was the first time you were setting this up, you'd only have the little period up there, and then you'd have the local data and classes. So what you would want to do to add this new class path is go to the folder, and we're going to actually browse to it instead of typing it in. So we'll browse to the path. Again, if you, if you follow this, it's basically just going straight to uh, your UDK. And again, to we'll go to the 2011 
and we'll go to development. We'll go to flash. And we'll go to click. And that's where we want to stop. We'll click OK. And you can see that we have our new our new um, class path here uh, for the, the January uh, release of the UDK. It is very important that this is second in, in line here. It needs to be second from the top. So if it ends up being down here, you can use these two arrows to uh, move things up or down. We'll go ahead and bump this one, our latest one, uh, to the second from the top. We'll click OK. And so our, our action script is set up. That's good. We'll go ahead and click OK there. And that basically uh, gets Flash set up um, and prepped for working with images and such that we're going to get um, imported into UDK later on. Now these, these changes are persistent, so every time you start up Flash, you won't have to do that. Uh, the, the things that we're going to address next with the images are something that you're going to have to do on an individual basis each time. Uh, you bring in a new image and such, they'll have to to uh, make those changes every time. But these couple of things, installing the scale form launcher, getting the, cla the click class path set up, that will always be there. Uh, so after a, a short break here, we will come back and uh, help you guys get your pings and file structures set up.